Hello Makers. Okay, so in the last video I installed the Raspberry Pi into the top of the head, which you can see poking at the back here. In this video, I want to go a little bit further and uh, set up the servo driver and a power supply to run it. I'm still trying to work out the best place to put the power supply and the a cooling fan to actually power the Raspberry Pi itself. So with this one, I need to take the I mechanism out first so that we can gain access to the screws to pull the speaker box out. Okay, so I've printed off these brackets for the AT30 switch mode buck boost power supplies. They're held in with one screw and there's a, a ledge on each side which keeps it contained. And what I'm planning on doing is mounting that probably that way up. so that the power supply will mount on the back of the speaker box. To mount that on there, I'm going to use the 3D pen and welder. For the uh, servo driver module, I'm planning on mounting it just here. And that gives enough room for the wires to come up under here. So the wires I had pre-soldered on there, the blue and the brown, are actually the supply in wires. The green and white are the 5 volt out wires. And in this case I'm going to run them round and up for this to be powered. But before we do that, let's get this one mounted. The best way to do that is to remove the servo first. <coughs> this is now up to temperature. So I worked out that the two mounting holes that are in this bracket that I made and links to the STL files for both the switch mode power supply and the PCA9685 servo driver will be in the description. So I found that those holes line up quite nicely in the middle there. So I'm going to use those as my guide. Now keep in mind that the servo mount is actually offset, so I'm going to line this side up with the edge here while this side overlaps, which gets it closer to middle, although it won't be exactly middle.
Okay, so I might use some hot melt glue in that spot there just to hold those wires in place and to stop them from escaping. this get mounted just here. Now this is a wire I prepared earlier. It will eventually go to the Raspberry Pi. I uh, crimped on a, a plug on the end and this 90 degree header. The 90 degree header on the other end came on this module and that will be to go down to the rest of the robot. It's actually um, I2C bus and just to carry through from this side. The positive VE pin is connected to here, it's the positive voltage and I will put these wires into here before I uh, screw it down. But before that happens I want to get those wires secured so I might put a small cable tie in around there or just hit it with some hot milk glue, in fact I might do that anyway. That could be a bit of a hassle. Oh, I broke it. Alright, so now I know I've got to put the servo back in before I mount this on. Now I don't want that done up too tight because I don't want it to bind up. So that should be alright. Now before I get too carried away with this, let's verify our voltage output. So pretty much standard colours 
in the industrial area. When you get a blue and a brown wire, the blue wire will be the zero volt and the brown will be your supply voltage. In most industrial situations that'd be 24 volt. With the green and the white wires, um, I've used green as the ground and white as the active. And to measure that I will need a multimeter. So on the, the power supply there's this little potentiometer, it's a multi-turn trim pot, normally about 10 turns. So I'll turn on my power supply, which is currently set for 6.9 volts output, feeding into that. Five point eleven volts, which is roughly where I wanted it tuned for. So with this, anywhere from four to thirty volts coming in will give me that five point one one volts coming out, which is ideal for my Raspberry Pi and also ideal for the servos in the head area. So now we can connect this up. So I can hook those up as soon as I figure out which one goes where. And I think that'll do for this video. On the next video, I will look at completing the wiring up to the Raspberry Pi and getting the power supply for the Raspberry Pi installed. So we'll see you in next week's video. Don't forget to click subscribe, like, and ring that notification bell. It, it really does help promote the channel and helps me to bring more videos like this one and we'll see you then